All right, family, get on new sporting man. That's Twin Man Elite. Today is December 29th, Trick or Tuesday in my city, Chicago. The year is supposed to be 2020. Now, they just built this, the learning place. Now, let me tell you how to get on news reporting work. I'm almost 75th right off of Kane Drive. I used to stay on Kane Drive. It was my first ever um, apartment. Donna Marie Evans helped get it for me once, um, you know, she and I fell the fuck out and shit or whatever and stuff because she cut my hand back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Because it was close to Christmas in the 90s and I was with Dwayne Lewis or whatever and stuff and we was going to go to a Christmas party. And, uh, you know, some shit transpired and, you know, my mama popped up and, you know what I'm saying, saved the day and, you know, Donna Marie Evans, the Italian stallion and the real estate agent and banker, you know, got me this uh, apartment, you know, on Team Drive. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. 75th right off... 75th King Drive. I've stayed on um, 74th and um, it was 7441 and 7431. You understand what I'm saying? Boy, I tell you, it's starting to really add up now that I think about it and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Those were my first two uh, apartments. LaWanda Joy Jacobs, the um, uh, Jehovah Witness and stuff, she knows also because I had a, a, a garage in the back of uh, 7441 and 7431 or whatever and stuff when I was staying here in the 90s or whatever. And, you know, one day I was with um, uh, um, Donna and I had, you know, came down the street and I turned in the alley or whatever and stuff to park my car and the police came from behind or whatever talking about, you know, I saw you circling the block. I said, you must be mistaken. I live here, cop. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And, um, you know, I think because, you know, Donna knew you know, I wasn't finna hurt her or whatever and shit, you understand what I'm saying? You know, he must have, she must have signaled to the cop or whatever and, you know, I was able to, you know, handle my business. And when that didn't work, you understand what I'm saying? They said I was selling drugs when everybody know I, you know, sold general merchandise in the streets of Chicago forever. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk now. They, they wanted to, you know, copy me and stuff. So what they did, they came up with Young M.A., okay? So numbers and names don't lie, okay? So check this out. You understand what I'm saying? They really is trying to kill me, and I got the fucking proof. All right? Here go to... It says, uh, full of wings, free of sugar. Okay, that ain't the fucking goddamn proof, but you see they egged, they egged it right here, right? You understand what I'm saying? Now, 60... 63, right? Now, 6 plus 6 is 12, right? 13, 14, 15, okay? 1 plus 5 is 6, 1973, I was in the... Sometimes newspaper, you understand what I'm saying, real talk, as a child abuse victim or whatever, you understand what I'm saying? And 66 and 3 is what? 66, 67, 68, 69. 1969, my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, that's when she was born and she came, for real, you know, and visited me in the apartment at um, 74, uh, 31 South King Drive. And not only that, I met Donna Marie Evans on the King Drive bus back in the day with my um, niece, Juanita Nelson, okay? Real talk now. Because they they wanted to just study me and then bring in Young M.A., that's 407 right there. That's 407. And if you want to skip 73, you got to go to 74. And if they coming from behind, that's 74, right? This is why I'm your ghetto news reporter. So they want to kill all the goddamn, you see them? You see them trying to kill the chicken? Yeah, mm-hmm. What they call motherfuckers, birds and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you got missing people, they might not be missing. You see what I'm saying? So if you do see them, the police ain't trying to do shit. Look, nosy motherfucker, that's all. You understand what I'm saying? See, they want to kill me and shit, right? My ex uh, friend, Dwayne Lewis, his um, phone number was 487, 487, 0547. So, you know, they had to switch up because, you know, I'm catching on to this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. But this the kicker part right here, nigga. This the kicker part right here. This the kicker part. Hold on. Let me, let me get my stuff. Because, see, these niggas think I'm slow. Now, they said Jesus fed, fed you know, 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish, right? Now, who the two fish is? You understand what I'm saying? Because it could be my mother or it could be Young M.A., you know, because they knew somebody was going to be trailing me, right? And Young M.A. say she want to be a billionaire, but she was on the, um, on the, on the lip service 
club and they was like, them guys gonna get you because they doing the same thing to her as they did to me. I spent a lot of money in this community, especially when I was trying to get my used car, you know, fixed. They fucked me around for real, for real. Now, check this out. This say M.A. right here. M.A., that's Ma, right? Now, this got a fucking cross right here. You know, like they trying to, let me make sure I get this shit. Sometimes you gotta get down low. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. You understand what I'm saying? And this says Steve right here. S-T-E-V-E. -E. Now, the person where I'm at right now, where I stay at, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637, apartment 308. His name is Steve. He the one got me hooked up in that fucking trap ass place or whatever, him and some girl that, you know, was a hater or whatever. I don't know if she's still a hater, but this the proof right here. And he's trying to get up out the game, right? So they trying to bring in these African-Americans and shit, right? Not native like me, I'm a native. So they needed me and my social security and all that and stuff for real. You understand what I'm saying? And now they got another Steve, light-skinned Steve with Afro or whatever and stuff. And he's trying to, you know, talk crazy or whatever the fuck. But yeah, that's it right there. That's the money right there. S-T-E-V-E. -E. You understand what I'm saying? If I die, we all die. Younger man, you better step your game up because they don't like you either. I keep telling you, silly ass. They, the guys do not like aggressors because we are too goddamn cool. That's what they told me. I was too cool and stuff, but you more cooler than I am and shit. But not only that, you got more money than I do and stuff, but I'm worth more than you. all these motherfuckers and shit. Real fucking talk. You could have been a billionaire on GP alone because I'm worth at least a zillion because I'm the originator of rap. So, um... Death to every motherfucker that's trying to kill me. If I die, we all die. And I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. I'm like, Bernie Mac, kiss my motherfucking ass. Real fucking talk. Anything happened to me, I promise you. This is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. And that fucking goddamn uh, Dunkin' Donuts wasn't there. It was uh, J&J Fist and some other shit, you know, back in the day. Yeah, it used to be real cool around this motherfucker. That Army, that, that used to be Army and Lou or whatever right there. They closed that motherfucking shit. A crackhead fucking killed one of the owners and shit, and they've been closed down ever since the 90s and shit. I heard shit, but goddamn it, at the end of the day, you understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. All they are, copycats and shit. But that's new, and they learn it from me because I'm giving them all the ass. And if I tell you I got to kill you, because that's the fucking goddamn law of the land, for real. Fuck the police. And with that, this will get a new sport of Mary Dash. Peace!